Hey, this is Duck Duck, where we solve problems where no one has. Now, when you think of us, uh, when you think of history, think about the boats that's happened in the past before. And, no, no, wrong face, it's not that boy. And you've probably seen like one of these boats before. Anti collection, and, and no, it ain't true, this thing is a copy pasta. Today I'll be taking around look and think of them as food. Let's go. Now the boats live in the ocean. Think of the ocean as as your frying pan. You can put as many foods as you like on your frying pan with just one need. All you need is just your ingredients and your food stuff for what they they'll be pre preparing can collect and a dish full of azure goodness. Don't get me wrong, this is, this is, this is all part of the plan. This is all part of the plan, I know not, not the other one, I just know. Okay, but, I think be, just look at this. For, for character collection, they take more strategic bone, you have to do with how much you do, how much you're building, and see it's on the list, or maybe something. And for the Zuru side, they just take your, they take your frying pan and they just move it on a treadmill, and then they just put lots of obstacles in it, and all over it. Now, obviously, you need to put in at least something on your frying pan. So, take for example, meat. Canty collection is like a piece of buying new beef. They only concentrate on one type of species, and the uh. Oh, done. And then the other ones, they're just bunches of scraps of bread and toilet paper. But you only go on for that line for a long time. A sewer lane actually doesn't do this. They actually do all but every single plate of the food group instead of just picking on one substance at a time. For like, say, an example, in case you would fill all in the squares. And take turns on foot time instead of what you take and what you're gonna get. There's no there's no holes, so you can't erase it. You get destroyed and you have to fix it back in the end. In the Azura side, all that food are being processed on a moving cart. Making sure that all food will be consistent as it actually but you know what actually will be more of a hot dog roller instead of a instead of a treadmill. Due to just being food, and all the different countries have them. Can Thai have their famous grit of circling food? Of, of looking at uh, car, what's it called? See, these every, every individual thing that costs are actually ships that, that were in the war back then, and they can fix all your problems just by a bit of a tea. And now for a Zuri Lane, their basic their food is basically tour the tour of Italy. You get to have, you get to see one of each faction instead of the other ones being all scrapped. You know that the thing is here has to do with how you recreate it, how you build them. Costs is costly, very hard on your moments and can't collection if you destroyed. If your food gets destroyed, it just stays destroyed until you get fixed and back. To your, to your shop, but for in the Azuri name, how your food it just will it just comes back to life. Think of it, as, think of it as ice and water, water, ice, salt, air. water, ice, salt, a water, a. ice, salt, a, a. water, a. ice, salt, a. all that water, ice, salt will just come back to life. If even if you're not in there, just have to make sure. Don't spend all your 50 gems on it. Construction is way even harder if you think if you're in food. For canty, for the canty side, at least four or five materials had to be used and to be used to build your wall on one ship. All of them takes like a pretty long while, but there's always the quick finishing. For the Zuri side, it only takes at least two things to. It's a built thing to just, and you can just dig easy on your toe if you have to set it up yourself. In the cat collection side, all of their devices have to do with their classic suits style wearment. 
has to the has to do with the fact that everything looks so weird that out of its place. They just it's just tend to make sure that humor is appreciated by boomers and their likings. Because you know how this they how they work in the car act. In your zoo side of the in your zoo side of the cooking, you would just go crazy and just add in different types of species. Humans, dancers, birds and birds and cats and dogs. Every everywhere you want to go crazy <laughs> you can go for. It's like it's like one it's like comparing a fine dining restaurant with a fat food restaurant. Can't I be in the, f in the fine dining one? Because so in straight order, they just they just don't. They just, it just tastes like one banana horse. Have wild fast food McDonald's. Everything's going good and fast. Because your commander's just slacking off eating up his burgers. I'll take a hamburger. Hey. Cat's collection chef would be like, hey, you can take at least any of these ones, but we like to use our specialty of the one with the big beef. And I was like, the commander's like, hmm, yeah, I'll try doing it. And then, like, and then, and then a few got started now was when all the dishes made moving straight and straight over. We just had to do it like, hey, it's fun, but there's somewhere to be more distributive. And, and you know, because, and, uh, here's a durian. In the Zuri Lane's restaurant, everyone has their own feeling of just running around, serving everyone like a wait. And he was like, and it was like, hey guys, you know, this is a nice fun game. We just roll around and just run and literally shoot it up. But what, what's up with these animals just walking around there? What are they supposed to be at? And don't worry, the commander can be a furry or ever he wants because don't worry, that, that hair won't get any of his in this house. I'm, I'm not saying these two games are bad. One of them just takes takes over too complicated, the fancy, the fancy canty restaurant. And the other one just straight up makes wild animals feel like they're free range, range cookers. You're a hooker! Oh yeah, and there's also that one kid where you have to fill up your uh, your care to all your boats but here's one step they're all pretty much straightforward increase their stats if they love but the other one can be like one is like hey you know what i can do with this you know what you can do you can buy many things you want you can buy the string you can get this we can not even explained about the shops they both almost do similar except the except the fast food restaurant McSury, McSury, McDonald's. One of them just refuses to pay on full price, price bonuses, even if you marry that person. The other one just keeps their price sanity insane. Look at this, you know all this shit! Oh, he's going so fucking fast! Look at this! Hell, what? Yes, there still be some teamwork over it. You can put at least like six boats on. One year team, but one has to be moved by the separate. It's like saying, it's like once your cup of tea, and the other one's like it's a cup of coffee of yourself. Hey, dog, get some ice cream. It's only a spoonful. Oh, oh hey, no, nice night intro. Cool. Anyways, I started blasting, but both of these games are fun. If you want to go forth to a statistic harder path for you to be challenged, you can. You can go fine dining at Canty Collection for like one smoother way. <laughs> or if you would like to go not that crazy, but at least have some actual variety instead of sticking on to the ones, you, you can go to the Azure King restaurant. You know, it's not it's my opinion, man. You know, I have to go for uh. <laughs> Me when I don't get that shit. Their gotchas are a little weird in the game, though. So one you just can't get any enough, and, and I don't know. They're just they're just random at most of the times. So each top best. Yeah. <laughs>
face. Well, you know what they say. God save the queen! Think of Leafy and Furry for a moment. Look how cute they are. Don't get weird near here, man. That's the K causes rule. Well, bye, L Y L. This is just my one little party of duck to bell pepper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>